what is going on YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. And today I want to break down running your body on fat versus running your body on sugar and everything we need to know. And I also want to sprinkle in whether or not when you're eating your OMAD meal, maybe you're getting yourself a little bit tired afterwards. I'm going to break it all down right after this. What is going on Weight Loss Warriors? If it's your first time clicking on this channel, I appreciate you joining me today. I lost 125 pounds using the OMAD method of intermittent fasting. Welcome to my channel. I hope you become a subscriber. And to all of my Weight Loss Warriors that have been here, I appreciate your support. Thank you for returning to my channel. So I got an important topic today, but I do want to take a small minute to say yesterday in my video, I talked about uh, Cole having coaching programs and apparently he doesn't. So I was a little bit off on that. So my apologies to anyone that, you know, I was, I, that I offended in, into him too. But ultimately I just wanted to make the point that the snake diet is very similar to a lot of the other diets out there that are used in intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting. And that's what this fasting family is all about. Is about those topics he just dressed it up nicely now moving on from that and hopping right into the video I want to take a minute to say to you guys that we have, we can run our body on two different things we can run our body on fat or ketones and we can run our body on sugar or glucose and so both things are interesting because both have gone through a period of being demotized by people in the outside world and in the fitness industry and so it's confusing and it's it's definitely different to to hear about well you should be running your body on fat no you should be running your body on glucose and what is the real answer what is the real situation so in order to break that down we got to talk about it and we'll start with what each one is and how it works so when you're running your body on fat which means basically that your body is does not have any glucose to burn so it switches over to burning its actual body fat or the fat that you have ingested in order to give it the energy it needs to get through a day and a lot of us have never tapped into that mode a lot of us are, are insulin resistant we've had issues and so we are not able to switch over to that mode and so you know it, it continues to store fat and we continue to grow bigger and that is the issue and so then there's another uh, a way of burning fat and that is by using sugar or glucose so anytime you eat any food that has carbohydrates and there's really proteins as well your body turns that into glucose and so glucose then fuels your body for energy and so glucose is what most of us run our body on most of the time and so in this day and age in, in 2019 what is going on is we're having a shift in the way we think a lot on the subcultures of fitness now mainstream fitness is always going to tell you that you know you don't want to eat fats and you want to do all of that but there's a subculture of people that are having a lot of success and they're telling you that no fats are great and that carbs are the problem and so they'll tell you that if you are able to run your body on ketones you're gonna have more success so running it on glucose or sugar is something that most of us do and have done our entire lives so being as you've run your body on glucose all of your life you, you should be very familiar and understanding of how your energy feels and what happens there so long term what ends up happening though is you have yourself some kind of sugary food or you have yourself something that has carbohydrates in it and your body turns that into energy the energy is great energy and it goes up for a while and then after after you've you know spent a couple of hours with that energy it peaks and it begins to fall and when it falls you get tired and because you get tired you go back and you eat again spiking your energy back up and it's a cycle that you're on all day long when you're eating a normal the way the standard way that we've been eating in the world today and so you're constantly getting energy and then losing it and then getting energy and losing it and getting energy and losing it and a way it's sort of like taking your car and filling up and having kind of two gas tanks but filling up your car with this much gas and then running the car down to where you're almost on empty and then filling it up with this much gas and running your car till you're almost empty and just doing that over and over again under not understanding that there's a whole nother tank that you can go to on the other side when we're in ketosis what happens is your body is running on its body fat 
or the body fat that you have or the fat that you have just eaten. Most of the time though, since it's a fasting channel, I'm gonna assume that it's running on your body fat. And so that is a different form of energy. And so your body runs on that energy, it is a little more sustainable because it can pull from that energy anytime it wants. It doesn't have to be ingested again for it to trigger an energy spike like the sugar does because your body just can't really create sugar the same way as it can just go into its body fats or its reserve. So once you pass through the first tank and you get into the second tank, now you're burning on body fat. And that is, my friends, what we all want to do. We all want to burn our body fat. So it is a really interesting thing and, and it's a, a state that we all want to get into. The problem is when you are uh, being educated through a lot of other people, they tell you that you have to run on ketones all the time. That, not, that isn't necessarily true you can run on both forms of energy and both each form of energy is different and each form of energy gives you a little bit of a different thing so let me just give you an example if we had an athletic competition where we had to compete at the peak energy of of our our ability whether that be like an olympic sport or wrestling like i coach or on the football field or track as a sprinter or any of these things there has been proven science that says that glucose is a better source of energy. So if you need to explode, if you need to go for a, for a period of time extremely hard and you need to get through something, your energy levels are going to be better when you have eaten something that has carbohydrates in it. That's why you'll see a lot of professional athletes have pasta before they compete because they're trying to get those carbohydrates. Of course, no one is eating Doritos before they compete. You get my point there. So good solid um, fruits, good solid vegetables, some pasta, those kind of things are what they're trying to supply their body with the proper energy. So with that said, body fat tends to seem as though you run better, uh, you run a little bit more sharp, you don't feel, because your body doesn't dip in energy, you don't feel the body dips and you're able to maintain a consistent level of energy. Although you may have a higher level of energy for a shorter period of time when having sugar, you're able to maintain a high level of energy for a much longer time when you're running your body on body fat. So how does all of that tie into OMAD, like I said in the beginning, and the kind of thing that I wanted to bring into it? I, I wanted to talk about the differences between burning them but I also had a, um, a couple of people lately say to me that they were getting tired after OMAD and they didn't really understand and that ties right into this topic. So I wanted to bring that element into it too so that you could get a better understanding of that as well. But basically, if you were sitting down to eat one meal a day, your body is forced to run in body fat burning mode. It has no choice. Eight to 12 hours after you've eaten your last meal, your body has to shift over to running on body fat or else you wouldn't be able to do anything. So you're forcing your body to run on its reserve tank, but your body still wants you to run on the sugar it has always run on because it is convenient and it's easy for your body to, to transfer and make happen and they can use it and, it and for your body it feels good. So your body's going to crave that. So when you are in a situation where you're eating one meal and you are eating that meal and you are having carbs, what can happen is your body, you eat for a little short period of time, you're peaking in your energy level. And as the sugar starts to come out of your body, your body instantly is telling you to eat again by making you tired. And so therefore, you're now in a different state and your body is saying, hey buddy, hey buddy, man, it feels so good when you give me sugar. Please give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. I need more, more, more. And the thing is, is that does happen to people that eat OMAD uh, with their one meal and incorporate some of the foods that have carbohydrates in it. Now, with that said, the, the, the low carb community will tell you that's the reason why you need to be low carb. But the one thing that everybody leaves out is your body is adaptable and it gets used to things quickly. And if you stick it out and you do OMAD for a long enough period of time, your body will stop doing that. Mine certainly has. I can eat a meal of all carbohydrates and I'm not going to get tired afterwards because my body 
instantly switches to the sugar burning mode and then as the sugar leaves it switches right back over to the fat burning mode and it can move between the two modes very easily because it has been trained to do so over the last 18 months and that will happen for you too if you stick with it most likely now let's say you're going into OMAD and you've been doing it a while and you're a couple of months in and you're still getting tired after your OMAD meal that is when you may you may want to start thinking about reducing some of your carbohydrates because that is probably the reason why you are getting tired directly after you eat so anyways and then overnight you're losing that weight uh, you're losing that sugar and then your body switches over to fat burning mode so when you get up in the morning you're still feeling good and you're getting all the benefits of OMAD the second day but not on the first day so my advice on that would be to grit through it if you're going to continue to eat carbs and if not cut your carbs back you also keep in mind that you don't have to be keto strict you can just lower some of your carbs that works out really well with people that just kind of watch it but they're not exactly on top of every single rule that keto has involved and as you guys know there are many 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 forms of keto I don't have to educate you guys on that um, keto is something that a lot of people do and do successfully so if that's your thing go ahead and do it I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to switch between the two modes and that it is going to happen for you if you just hang in there and also let you know that there are two modes of burning fat so as you can see my face it's hopping up right here click on it and subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it I got a few more videos popping up here check them out for me guys I, each and every one of you mean the world to me I'll catch you on the next one peace